What's up everybody and welcome to another video And today I want to do something different This is going to be my red hot pick um, Basically what I'm doing is just picking out a movie that I think will be good That if you haven't seen I think you should check out And if you have seen it look at it again it's that good Trust me I'm only going to suggest movies that I've seen multiple times Trust me it ain't gonna be no one hit wonders in this, no no milli vanilli. No none of that. None of that stuff in here. And so for my first red hot pick, it's going to be a movie that I thoroughly enjoyed Rain Over Me. Now I know I've said a million times that I like sci fi movies, but this one isn't a sci fi movie, y'all. This one is a movie that is is definitely okay gentlemen if you have a girlfriend you want to watch this with your girlfriend or your wife or your side chick okay maybe not side chick you don't really watch movies with the side chick you go to sleep when you watch a movie with well anyway I digress but anyway this is definitely a semi chick flick it's definitely for the men too because it is it is about a bromance between my man Don Cheeto, who I am a huge fan of. You know, I like his movies. I like him as an actor. Um, I had a script that I wrote that I when I was writing the script, I had him in mind when I was for one of the characters that I wrote um, the script in. That's how much I enjoy this guy's acting. Um, it's Don Cheeto and Adam Sandler. In a serious, Adam Sandler is in a serious movie. Oh man! So let's just check out the 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 the, the trailer for it. You know, as you see, it came out in two thousand seven, so that's about ten years ago now. And in ten years, I've probably seen it at least ten times, <laughs> at least ten times. So let's check it out. Like I said, Don Cheadle, Adam Sandler. Charlie. Jada Pinkett. Charlie He was my college roommate. I haven't talked to him in a long time. You were college roommate? Yeah, you slept naked most nights. And you were a sleepwalker. It was the worst two years of my life. He lost his whole family in a plane crash. He's lost now. Charlie Feynman, Dr. Johnson. You don't have an appointment, sir? Oh, we're friends. We were college roommates. And? I used to sleep in the nude. I don't play guitar, Charlie. Jonathan, you're barely a dentist. You pull people's teeth all day. I mean, they in this movie. Okay. See, in this movie, they kind of pull out the best of from each other. You know, like you said, it was college roommates. Now he went through a traumatic incident in his life like they said in the trailer so I'm not giving away any spoilers here not no spoilers um, but like he said in the movie he, he lost his entire family in a plane crash and it pretty much just traumatized him and made him you know recluse but when his college roommate came back into his life he had a friend that he hasn't had and he wouldn't he wouldn't and he, since they since they die, you know, and and they brought out the best of each other, you know, in a roundabout way. It, it, like I said, it's just a good movie. You stay out all night. That's not okay. I was stuck in the Charlie world. I couldn't leave. Come on now, Sam and Wayne. Guys have guy hobbies, right? They play poker. They golf. What's going on, Charlie? Let's hang out. Right now? Yeah, wake up. Come on. What's up? Can you go out and do loud out? Don't do that. Don't ask my wife permission for me to go out. All right, you're right. Can you go out? <laughs> A lot of girls here, Charlie. What? You're single now after what happened with your family and everything. Oh, whoa, whoa, hey, I don't have a family, Johnson. No, I know you don't. Who sent you here? See, that was one of them points, man. Like you, you would never, like you would never know what 
triggered one of those emotions of rage from him. You could tell he was really in love with his wife and his kids. It's a beautiful story and it's and it's told from the view it's told from love from the viewpoint of a man. We see a lot of movies out there that is told about love that is told from the viewpoint of a woman, but this one is told from the viewpoint of a man. I, I guess that's probably what what really you know keeps me watching this over and over and over and over and over and I'm telling you at least once a year I watch this movie. It's definitely one of the you gotta you gotta watch it. Why? Because you know nothing about his family, so he figures you won't ask any questions. I have these things that I don't like to think about. I can't do this. I gotta put these back on. Only one. I don't know how I got to the place where I'm not letting you in. I don't want to be that guy, baby. Well, then just come home. I love you. It's easy to see that this man is going through something very profound. Are you gonna be all right, Charlie? That scene, that scene in the courtroom. Listen, fellas, you make sure you have somebody with you that you really love or don't watch it with somebody. Because <laughs> I'm telling you, man. <laughs> that scene. Yo, it is a tear jerker, for real, yo. But you know, I'm 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 tough. I, did, I probably had like a little water in the corner of my eyes. I ain't let it drop. I ain't let it drop. But I'm telling you, man. If you if you one of them sensitive type guys, this is gonna bring out some tears in you, man. Adam Sandler, Don Cheadle, great movie. I'm telling you, you have to watch this movie. Guaranteed. If you don't like this movie, then you don't have a sensitive bone in your body. That's it. That's it. If you watch this movie, tell me what you thought about it. Me, personally, I thought it was a great story. To me, that's what makes a good movie. It starts with the story. Then it goes with the visuals, um, the way they showed, they told the story through the visuals, through if you if you did nothing but watch this without the sound, you still will understand the pain and the changes that both him, Don Cheeto, and Adam Sandler went through in this movie. Definitely a red hot pig. So I want to thank y'all for joining me on my first installment of Red Hot Picks. Rain over me. You know, if you like the movie, if you like this pick, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. I'll keep on trying. So until the next one, peace and blessings. Yeah. Rain over me.